Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello the learners, I am Rizka, a student of English Education Department at Aladdin State Islamic University of Makassar Well, the learners, here I will explain three main topics The first, instructional speaking The second, transactional speaking And the third, performance speaking Well, three of those, there are I will explain the definitions, examples, the reason for analyzing this discourse, how to analyze this course, what things are found from the analysis, uh, and then what are the implications of the analy analysis results to teaching and learning conversation in English language teaching. Well, without further ado, let's start it! Well, for the first is insurrectional speaking. Speaking as insurrectional as commonly found in real our social life in terms of interpersonal dialogues or conversations. Well, insurrectional speaking can obviously be illustrated as two or more people meet somewhere. They exchange, um, they exchange greetings engage in small talk, uh, recount, recount recent experience, and so forth. If we uh, observe how people speak in their, in their social interaction, then we will find the most activity, uh, the most frequent activity of talking is conversation. Well, conversation as the most frequent spoken discourse can take place into two different contexts. First, classroom uh, conversations. The second, casual conversation. So, I will explain first classroom conversation. So, the place is in the classroom between, uh, between teacher and students. Uh, we call it classroom discourse or classroom conversation. Well, um, and then Sinclair and Coacher found there are uh, there is a pattern that we the pattern of uh, classroom this uh, classroom conversation or classroom discourse that is called I R F. I stands for initiations. R stands for response. F stands for feedback. Well, the learners to make you more understand about these patterns, that's better. We are going to the examples. Well, for the examples, there is teachers and students. The teachers, well, the students, uh, here, I have things in my hand. So, what the, what is this? The students. This is, uh, that is highlighter, ma'am, and the teacher, yes, this is highlighter. Well, that is uh, examples, this is conversations between teacher and students. Now, we, we will, now I will going to, analyze, I will going to explain to analyze that conversations. Well, the first teacher. The teachers ask the students brings uh, the teachers brings uh, the questions to the students. That is functions of initiations that uh, the teachers give uh, ask give give asking to the give questions to the students, and then the students response that functions of response are by saying that is high letter and the last f feedback the teacher give uh, the feedback or the comment with the students that that is a uh, this is high letter yes well the learners there are three reasons for analyzing conversation uh, uh, analyzing classroom conversations the first to see 
uh, to show its typical characteristic in terms of structure, functions, and so forth, uh, which have made it different from casual conversations. The second, uh, to encourage the students to know and to use the characteristic uh, that they can uh, that they can understand in the setting in the classroom settings, and the last to see uh, what goes what goes on in the classroom and evaluate the products and evaluate the end of products of our teaching in the classroom. Well. Uh, well, the learners, we are moved to the casual conversations of in this context. Casual conversations is used commonly a lot around those we communicate in our social interactions. Casual conversations is taking uh taking place uh among people outside in the classroom in the classroom in real situations interactions so casual conversation uh, except uh do except do conversation or dial or interactions uh in classroom so it, this is we do in outside outside classroom well uh richard uh, based on richard's explanation there are seven main skills that involves uh, casual conversations that uh, there are opening and custom conversation, choosing topics, jo making small in talk, joking, recounting spoken in incidents or uh, experiences, employing turn taking, and then the last using agency uh, peers. Well, the learners, we are going to the example of casual conversations that make sure you can understand by this ex example and we try to analyze. Well, we we see the, the examples. Uh, the conversation starts A. Are you busy? And B. Why? A. I'm going for a drink. Uh, C. A. a. Uh, B cannot I've got exam to mark and the last A said that's too bad so we analyze A uh, A we label as in uh, initiations initiations uh, because A asking and then uh, B we label as response but learners we have to know that uh, B is a response, we label R as well. I also do to Y is a question. Well, uh, A, I'm going for a drink. We label as response. Um, and then uh, B, cannot I got exam to mark? That is, that is response as well. So we label R, and the last that's too bad. The last is we uh, call is following that we label F. Uh, so the learners uh, after the analyzing to action structure, uh, we can we can now label I as a, uh, I R slash I R I R F. So, for make sure you can see here the labels of that uh, examples of casual conversations. Well, the learners, uh, we have understood example and analyzing of casual conversations. So, I will give you information that there are three, three things uh, from this analysis. The first is to use um, to use this course, this course sequence as a pattern uh, when the teacher needs to compile conversations in material teaching. And the second, to use utterances from data as natural, as natural language conversations or expressions. And the last, to, to in turn to use internal uh, to use 
to use internal structures to determine to determine uh, terms in conversations. Well, so how about implication of the analysis resource in uh, to teaching and learning in the in English language teaching? Well, it is really helpful for the teacher when the teacher wants to expect natural interaction activities in the classroom that sends information based on the analyzing. So, uh, that's the information about interaction, speaking of discourse analysis. So, we move to the uh, next topic. Well, the learners, I'm going to explain the second topic that is transactional speaking. Well, Richard said transactional speaking refers to uh, the situation that we focus on what is said or done. The message meaning which makes one understood clearly and accurately uh, is the central focus in our social lives transactional speaking identified that is discussions debates and job interviews well the learners i'm going to analyze the example now in this example we um we take a debate this is in uh, election debate uh, between Donald Trump and uh, Hillary Clinton at the time. So I, I recommend you to watch this video on YouTube. I put a uh, link on the descriptions. Well, the first, uh, we analyze moderator. Moderator is Lester Holt. So uh, here, the first is initiation. In initiation of uh, moderator consists, the first is opening. And the second, introducing the participants, the church, structuring the debate organizations. And the next, welcoming candidate. And the next, uh, introducing topic. And then the last, inviting arguments. Well, uh, those uh, structure analyzing of uh, moderator in initiations. Well, we move to the response. Here in the response, here in the response, there is uh, Hillary, Hillary Clinton response, uh, the moderator that uh, here consists of opening, overviewing the topic, um, and the next is stating solutions, giving recommendations, and uh, those of, those of uh, in so those of a response for from Hillary Clinton seems like a uh, Hillary Clinton as well Donald Trump uh, giving opening overviewing topics uh, arguments give, giving arguments stating solution and the last giving recommendations that's a uh, the last is response from the Donald Trump. So guys, to make sure you understand about uh, this analysis, this analyzing, uh, here is the general structure or this is the discourse pattern, generic structures, and then the functions. So you can see uh, on the screen, in your screen that there is initiations response uh, follow up initiations and the last response well a is a moderator b hillary clinton and c donald trump so that is the analyzing of this example election debates well the learners uh, in this informations gathered from analyzing uh, the trans and as in the transactional spoken discourse, bring about some uh, advantages for language, especially in language teachers who are interested in this course, who are interested in teaching debates or discussions to improve their students' transactional speaking skills. Well, uh, so uh, this is really important and very helpful to using the informations. Well, journals. 
how about implication the implications of the results of analyzing this discourse transactional spoken well using the information is very helpful uh, to present authentic transactional spoken discourse activities in english language teaching classroom Uh, since this, this information is the results of analyzing English language used in social context. So that is, that is the, explain, the explanations of transactional speaking. So we move to the next topic. That is the last topic, performance speaking of discourse analysis. Well, the learners, uh, performance speaking based on research said that Performance speakers in a type of spoken discourse uh, that is aimed at transmitting information uh, in front of public area or in front of an audience commonly deliver in the form of monologue rather than dialogue. And then, uh, I mean, performance speaking such as classroom presentations, public announcements, lecture, as well as speech. And the learners, do you realize that um, public speaking or performance speaking is very difficult to do to do uh, actually i do that um, public speaking or performance speaking is very difficult based on two reasons the first is uh, the, the speaker should have high uh, confidence and the second is Uh, the speaker required to deliver speech effective, making effective speaking. Well, the learners, uh, how to bring those skills into the language classroom? Yes, it is the responsibility of discourse analysis, uh, discourse analysis to identify them from from a process of analyzing speech according in the real context uh, where English is a daily spoken by. Uh, by native user or by native language, by native speakers. Well, the learners, I do believe that all of you uh, know what is the example of uh, performance speaking. Yes, the example of performance speaking, here's uh, one of the ex examples. You can search on internet, uh, on internet, um, another examples that are speech concept, speech context, I mean. Uh, so, The how about the structure of the perf performance speaking? There are several structure. The first is greeting and gratitude. The second, uh, the second is attention grabber. The third introductions. Uh, fourth body, body. Uh, here body is um, arguments. Uh, the contents, the content of your speech, the content of your speaking. Uh, conclusion. Conclusion that uh, here is we conclude our speaking uh, briefly and the last is ending. So here ending we can uh, end our we can end our speech by quotes or uh, motivation words, wise word like that. Well, learners, here is uh, the function uh, performance speaking or in this topic that half the students to make i mean to make a uh, speech clearly and then you you can develop your speech more structure structuralized and easy to understand that's the main reasons or that's the things that we can uh, learn from performing speaking the of this course analysis Well, the learners, we are in the end of these explanations. So, before I'm going to close these sessions, I will let you give conclusions. The first is, um, spoken discourse uh, consists of three spoken. The first is interactional speaking, and uh, the, se the second is transactional speaking, and the last or the third is performance speaking or public speaking. Well, Interactional speaking consists to casual conversation and classroom conversations. How about transactional speaking? The example of transactional speaking is debating, discussion of presentations. And then to how about the performance speaking? Performance speaking, uh, the example of performance speaking is public spe uh, speech, presentations, or announcement Announcement speaking, 
and then a lecture as well as speech. Well, the learners uh, about the pattern, the discourse patterns, because the first is I, initiations, R, response, the third is, this, uh, the third is follow up. So guys, thank you so much that you want to watch this video. Hopefully this video is useful for all of you. And see you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.